<laughs> all right guys um welcome back today i am doing a get ready with me video oh my gosh guys today is a really special day because today i'm going to see gorillas live oh my god i am like this is just unbelievable like i can't believe this is really happening and the day has come so yeah um i hope you guys enjoy this video i really like doing makeup um and it's really fun to get all dressed up and today is a special occasion so i figured i would film me doing my makeup so yeah um let's get started so i've already moisturized my face and i showered today um but i'll show you guys really quick what i use this is from an ipsy bag and it's the lxmi i've never heard of this brand but it's a pore refining moisture veil so it's a really really nice moisturizer um, also it kind of acts as a primer as well but um for this for my makeup I use this and a primer but I have used this alone and it definitely works as a primer but yeah this is a, the moisturizer I use um, currently and I really like it a lot I'm gonna be starting off with this uh, Smashbox photo finish primer and this is the radiance one so this one makes your face look glowy and this is also from the ipsy bag this is from September so yeah I'm gonna apply this to my face and yeah it's a nice glowy primer I don't necessarily need it but um, I like this I'm just using this and I don't know I like it a lot it's a good primer and I have a mirror down here so I'm gonna be looking there okay I really hate my hair when I get out of the shower it's just like all frizzy and messy and it gets in the way so actually you know what I'm gonna be I'm gonna pull my hair back I actually don't usually pull my hair back but I think just today it's being really annoying so yeah there we go okay so next um, is foundation so I just got this about a month or two ago and I really love this foundation the L'Oreal infallible total cover foundation full coverage um, weightless feel I definitely agree that it feels weightless but I wouldn't say it's necessarily full coverage um, I think it's more like a buildable coverage um, but also I kind of like to go light on my foundation so I guess it really depends um, but I think if you build this up it could be full coverage uh, but yeah I'm just gonna apply I apply it and I kind of smear it to kind of set it before I start blending it but so what I do is I have this real techniques sponge that I've been using forever and I like it because it's affordable and it works pretty good so I'm just gonna blend all my foundation out and yeah so I've been wanting to see gorillas for my entire life um, you guys know because I've mentioned before that gorillas is one of my favorite bands of all time next to Muse and now Animal Collective since I've been getting into them I have seen Muse live in concert twice and the second time is, the first time was for the second law tour and then um, the second time I saw them for their drones tour and man it was the most amazing experience I have ever been through <laughs> and now I'm so lucky I'm gonna be seeing gorillas now I just need to see animal collective and I feel like my life will be complete because I have officially seen all of my favorite bands live um, so yeah, I am crossing my fingers that Animal Collective will go on tour. I don't know when that's ever going to happen, but y'all know I'm going to be there when they tour. Then I'm going to use concealer, and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I mean, classic favorite that a lot of people like. I really like it a lot. Um, I like the coverage on this and yeah and I think I accidentally got a shade a little too light but it still works for me so I'm just gonna use this and I just put it under my eyes and around my nose to help like conceal the 
because I have like darkness under my eyes and then I have redness around my nose so those are the places that I like to conceal so yeah I just dot a little bit around my nose not too much because I don't want to like overwhelm my skin <laughs> and then again with the same sponge I'm just gonna blend it when hallelujah money released like it was like the first song that was uh, released when the gorillas like announced the new album and it was so funny that like so many people were like oh my god this album is gonna suck this album like what happened to gorillas like they suck and I just think it's hilarious because <laughs> it's like really guys I mean just look at it look at what happened the album released and it's like everybody loved it so much and it's just crazy I don't know I'm gonna set my face now um, before I move on to anything else so I just have this face brush that I got from Marshalls oh man I used to work there and man those were the days and also for powder I'm using this elf um, HD perfect finish powder and it's in clear it's just like a translucent powder and yeah I basically just put that all over my face to set it and yeah the Gorillas have been just like one of those bands that I've been liking ever since I could remember basically um, before I even owned like an iPod or before I was like even able to listen to music myself I've been listening I just like I grew up with them and um, just knowing that I'm gonna see them today like <laughs> I'm sorry guys it's just it just blows my mind that it's really gonna happen. I'm gonna do my eyebrows now and I use this. <laughs> I've been using this forever, guys. I'm so sorry. It looks so dingy, but it's this like eyebrow powder kit that I got from Sally's Beauty Supply. And it comes with this little angled brush and it came with the other brushes too, but I lost them. But yeah, I just use this angled brush and I dip into both the brown and the black because I have like dark brown eyebrows and then I basically just uh, go over them and just darken them up a little bit so yeah I just follow the natural shape of my eyebrows and just fill them in and this has been such a struggle I am not the best when it comes to doing my eyebrows but I don't know I hope I can improve over time and maybe when I'll come across more products that are better but just for now I'm using this I'm on the hunt for some new eyebrow products but yeah okay cool so my eyebrows are done and after I do my eyebrows I like to do the highlighting so I have this I don't have the packaging with it but this came with an ipsy and this is the Urban Decay 8 hour hourglass something highlight and um, I've, I've mentioned it before to you guys so yeah this has just been the highlight I've always been using so I take this brush that is also from Ipsy <laughs> and this is the Luxie Precision Foundation brush but I like to use it as a highlight like right here so yeah <laughs> I'm just gonna dip into that and here we go and this is like a golden yellow highlight but I just like to use it it's pretty much the only highlight I've ever owned it's the first highlight I've ever owned so um, I really like it a lot um, I don't know it's just really nice looking on my skin and I pretty much wear it all the time and then I put some on my nose, on the edge, and down the bridge. And then whatever's left over, I put right here. And on my chin, I just kind of lightly brush it. And then for the highlight under my brows, I actually just use my finger and put it in. And then I just uh, put it on my brow bone. <laughs> Alright, cool, so highlighting is done. 
I hope you guys, can you guys see it? I hope so. <laughs> I don't know about this lighting. I think I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna use this Trifle Cosmetics. Again, from Ipsy. I get pretty much everything from Ipsy just because it's easier. I don't have to go to the store and decide on what I want to buy. This just kind of sends me stuff and I like, I just use it. Um, but yeah, this is the Raspberry Ripple Ombre Blush Palette and it comes with three shades like this and I kind of just go over all of them and put it on my cheekbones. So this is a BH Cosmetics brush. It's not the best. Um, I don't even think this is for blush, but I use it for blush because I don't actually own an actual blush brush, but eventually I'm going to get one. But for now, I'm going to use this and I dip into all the colors. I'm actually, I think I'm going to focus more on the dark colors. So yeah, I'm just going to do that. And then put it on my cheeks. Here we go. And then I just kind of swirl it around like this. And I just realized I put way too much. Um, and that happens all the time, man. Okay, so as you guys can see, it doesn't really look that blended. So I'm actually going to take my face brush and buff this out and blend it out and diffuse it so it doesn't look as like bad. So yeah, um, as you guys can tell, I am not a makeup person. Like I'm not a professional makeup artist like at all. <laughs> um, but I really like to do it for fun and it makes me happy and makes me feel good. So for my eyes, I'm actually going to be doing this blue makeup look. Um, it's going to look so bomb. I'm so excited. So I'm going to start off with this NYX eyeshadow base and it's just like a base color and it's like a cream eyeshadow and I actually I just use my finger and I put it over my lids like this and yeah I just like to use it as a base for my makeup so before I get started on the colors I'm actually gonna be putting on a transition shade to blend everything out and so it doesn't look as harsh so I'm using this Luxie uh, angled shading brush and this is from an ipsy this is from last month's ipsy so um i like it because it's really fluffy so it really helps blend eyeshadows really well yo i'm so sorry guys like <laughs> all the stuff i'm showing you it's like so dirty i'm really sorry everything gets so messy but yeah i'm using this wet and wild palette it's just like this like brown neutrals eyeshadow palette um, but I like it a lot because it's affordable and it has a lot of good shades for just like basic, you know, eyeshadows. So I'm going to be using this like, um, light brown and that's going to be like my starting off transition, uh, shade just because it's like a neutral light brown and I'm going to be actually putting it from my lid to my crease, focusing more on my crease. Okay, so this is going to seem weird, but since I don't have many shadows to work with, um, I'm actually going to warm this up a little bit because of, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this eyeshadow is a little bit too cool toned and I want it to be warmer because warmer browns look better with blue. So I'm actually going to go into this NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette and I'm actually going to dip just a tiny bit into this darker orange with the same brush like one or two and then um, I'm gonna be going over what I just did again with this color I have this blue eyeliner and this is just the one of my favorite like out there makeup items that I own this is a Revlon color stay uh, pencil eyeliner and it's in the color sapphire and I just this is just such a pretty color and it looks really good with like my color eyes because it really makes my eyes stand out just because like the contrast between the brown and the blue it looks really cool so yeah I'm gonna do this like major <laughs> I'm gonna warn you guys I'm gonna do like this major blue eye look I'm basically gonna line my eyes and try to bring it up a little bit more and just blend it out a lot um, 
but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna line, I'm first gonna start with a small line and go over my eyes. All right, so as you guys can tell, it looks super duper messy um, right now, but I'm gonna fix that. So um, before I do anything else, I'm gonna actually smudge this up a little bit, and it has a little like sponge at the end of this, so I'm gonna just use this. I know it's not really the best thing to use, but I don't know, it works for me, so I'm gonna smudge my eyes out a little bit with this. And I'm going to be going over the eyeliner again, except a little bit higher. So I'm just going to be building up and up. And yeah, so because I want this to be like a bold, like blue eyeshadow look. Okay, so <laughs> this is what it looks like so far. Um, yeah, it's still really, really harsh. So what I'm going to do is use some help from some eyeshadow to really blend this out a lot um so again i'm gonna go with my nyx ultimate eyeshadow palette this is probably one of my like most favorite makeup finds of all time i'm really happy that i got this palette because it's just been so useful this whole year um so what i'm gonna do is since this color is a little bit too teal and this one is a little bit too cool I'm actually going to mix them together and I feel like that will hopefully work, we'll see. But um, yeah, I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics blending brush. So yeah, I'm just going to dip into both of them. Hopefully this works out. I don't know guys, we'll see. We shall see. And of course I'm going to start with my lid and build up and blend up. Okay, so it's actually really, really streaky on my lid because of the eyeliner. So what I'm going to do is actually pack some eyeshadow onto my lid so then it's not as streaky. So, where did that, this one? Okay, so again, I'm going to use a flat brush and this is from BH Cosmetics because I ordered a like makeup brush kit a long time ago and honestly these are not very good brushes but they work and I don't really care that much because I'm not super duper picky about my brushes but hopefully in the future I'll get better ones but for now so I'm gonna use the same color combo in this palette and pack on the eyeshadow there we go that looks a lot better already all right yes guys i'm so excited man all right i'm gonna blend this out again okay when i blend it out it's like disappearing i don't you know what i should have done i should have used a white base that's what i should have done man the only thing I'm not liking is the streakiness. I don't know. I'm gonna go over this patch right here with the eyeliner because it's like really streaky right here. I don't know why. Alright, so I'm gonna need some inner corner highlight. So I'm actually gonna be using this, another awesome palette that I like, and it's the BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic. And I'm gonna go into, wait, which one did I like? Uranus. I'm gonna go into that one and put it in my inner corners because I wanna make them pop, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna use a smaller packing brush and look at, dude, look at my hair, man. Just bought, look at that stupid, oh yeah, oh. That makes it look way better, man. It makes it look like I actually, like and know what I'm doing <laughs> um so I feel like there's not enough glow on my face so <laughs> um, I'm gonna add something extra to my face so I'm actually gonna use this eyeshadow palette and I like using eyeshadows as highlights sometimes I'm actually gonna go into meteor is what it is and it's like a really bright sparkly uh, 
eyeshadow but I'm gonna be putting it on here just to step up this look like yeah so here we go man oh okay <laughs> that is so pretty I love this this is such a pretty color the most important part of this look and that is the glitter so I'm using this Urban Decay Heavy Metal this is a glitter eyeliner I think yeah a glitter eyeliner but obviously you can put this wherever you want I like to put this on my face just because I love glitter I just like putting glitter on my face like who doesn't like to do that man it just gives me power you know what I mean so yeah I'm just gonna be putting it like just like that here we go guys I just kind of pat it on first and then I use my finger to fix it up but I'm gonna go like all the way on around my face I'm gonna it's it's gonna be a lot guys like I love glitter okay so what do you guys think do you think that's enough glitter I don't know I just want it to stand out a lot of course the finishing <laughs> finishing parts of my makeup. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and then apply mascara and I have this really cool oil slick eyelash curler and I actually just picked this up at a, a Rite Aid. Yeah, a Rite Aid. They built a Rite Aid down my street along with a grocery store and a Starbucks and a Del Taco. It's like they knew me, man. They knew me. I have my two favorite mascaras of all time and I like to combine them. So this is the Miss Manga Rock and then this is the Miss just the regular Miss Manga. This is L'Oreal. I love these. These are like my go-to mascara. I've never tried any other mascara that's better than these just because it gives you a lot of product and it's cheap. Like it's a drugstore. Like I don't know. I, I'm not a higher end person. I don't really like to buy high end makeup just because I feel like I can get the same effect with drugstore and I'm not really that into makeup enough to want to spend that much money on higher and stuff but I really like these because they just make my eyelashes look so much they give it so much volume they make them look so pretty and on top of that they just it it actually lasts for a really long time like when I put on this mascara it lasts me the whole day like I don't have to reapply or anything and I think that is like the craziest part so what I do is I go with the Miss Manga Rock first this one has more product on it so I like pack it on first and then I use the regular Miss Manga mascara and I go over it and it kind of helps separate the lashes more and then lengthens them so just like this combination together is like it's good man all right bottom lashes are done oh uh, okay so <laughs> This is looking good. So last but not least is my lips. And actually with this type of look, I really like the color of my lips. So I'm not going to put any lipstick on, but I am going to go with some gloss. So I've got this Glow Sticks lip gloss. And this is the brand Jessie's Girl. I actually um, have never seen this brand before, but they only sell it like in the Rite Aid by my house, but they don't have it like at like Target or anything like that. It's kind of weird, but I feel like maybe this, you know like certain drugstores like CVS's or like Rite Aid's or Walgreens, they like sell like different brands. Um, yeah, they sell this brand there and I liked the, I mean, look at this lip gloss. It's like iridescent, I don't know, it's cool. I, I like this is what like caught my eye I just like saw the shiny iridescent I'm like whoa but I actually really like this as a lip gloss um, and it says red dawn I guess that's what the name of the lip gloss is but anyways I'm just gonna go with some gloss and that will finish my look it's so cool when you first apply this like you can like see the iridescence but after it like goes onto your lips you can't really see it anymore so that's kind of lame but either way it's cool yeah all right that's it man oh i love this this is cool actually i'm proud of myself 
I am proud of myself. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take my hair down so you guys can see the look. I'm gonna leave my hair down for the concert because uh, just because I don't like to feel my hair being constricted when I'm in an uncomfortable, you know, place. But who knows? If it gets hot, I might just put my hair back up. But I don't think it will be a problem. I'm gonna zoom in. I hope you guys can like, see there. Uh, okay, can you guys see now? Okay, I'm gonna try to focus. Okay, so this is the look. Uh, I really, really just like blue on my eyes. Like it really makes it stand out a lot. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I, it's so awkward. Oh shoot, I zoomed in too far. Ah! Wait, is that too close? There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, do you guys want to see my outfit? Maybe. Okay, I'll just show you guys from here. So, actually, I'm gonna zoom out. Okay. So, this is my outfit, you guys. I'm wearing this like fishnet, see-through long sleeve top. And if you guys saw my last thrift haul, um, yeah, I thrifted this. Um, and I'm pairing it with this. I'm sorry this like crop top cami that I also thrifted and then this part right here is actually a bra um, it's like a strappy like really cool bra and this I believe I got an OASAP um, yeah I really like this bra it's super comfortable and also it just like looks really good like because it has like this strappiness and I love like layering with this bra it's so cool but yeah, and then also I'm just gonna wear my pants. These are my thrifted like black trouser pants, but I wanted to wear these because they're comfortable and I just wanted to wear pants. I feel more secure wearing pants at a concert. And yeah, I, basically my go-to is wear all black. At a concert, you can never go wrong with all black. Okay, and then on top of that, I'm actually gonna be wearing my mock docks <laughs> is what I like to call them. They're just like black combat boots. That I got at Forever 21. And yeah, that's it, guys. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you for joining me in this video. I really like doing my makeup a lot and especially just going all out. This is a very special occasion for me, and I know this is a very, very different look, <laughs> but I really like doing this. I like playing with makeup, and I'm just so excited <laughs> to go to this concert and I will see you guys in my next video and don't forget to be happy and positive and always be creative and I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys later.